This thing is weird. <clears throat> Alright, this might be part downtown. No parking 2 a.m. to 6 a.m., but I think that's for the the snow, November to the March. E-bike. Wow. Public parking. Mm -mm. 
Okay, there's bathrooms up ahead. This is a public launch and a bridge. You, oh yeah, yeah. I was uh, just just uh, checking it out. Yeah, that's those are those videos. Those look are coming up on YouTube are gonna be like a good two weeks old, I think. So I, that's that's pretty neat. These yeah. what? Okay, what's this one called? A kokanee. Kokanee. Blueback. Blueback. Okay, and that's a sun sunfish. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah, yep. All right, so I gotta be careful of cougars. This is along the lake area. Just got done talking with somebody who has been watching my videos. A friendly, friendly person. And yeah, now I'm just gonna go down this way, take a look further. Not too, not too far. I don't wanna, maybe if I studied the map, then I know exactly. Horses have been down here as evidence. All right, this is pretty neat. I don't know if it'll zoom in because of the bushes. You got nice homes on this lake in this city, the great city of Spirit Lake, the great city of Spirit Lake. So I was recording up to this point with my iPod and now I'm switching over to this so it's not going to be in order. Wow, it's a lot of docks. You can get a decent overview but there are quite a few trees in the way. It's about 80s, high 80s, mid to oh, that might be a good overlook. Alright, I hear some screaming from kids, but I'm going to just zoom in on this person. What is that, a female? On private docks, I believe. All right, back on the road off of the trail over there somewhere. So pretty. But it all turns into private property here. Okay, keep out. Private road. Might have to get back on that trail and leave. As a bicycler, you always have to be careful about the dirt bikers or the four wheel riders on these kind of trails because they, they can try to compete against the cars on the highway. This is tough, but it's well worn. Looks like there's a cop, Spirit Lake Police. Doing a little speed checking. This area seems pretty popular for boaters. I've been seeing quite a few pass me by.
only high only at high they closed on burning I think that seems a little drastic Alright, so the librarian told me that the cops harassed him outside of the library at 11.30 p.m. Uh, I thought that's odd to hear. A librarian hanging out outside of the library is extremely odd to hear. But the cops also giving him a hard time being outside of the library too is, is a concern. So I definitely... I definitely need to hang outside the library and just wait for the cops to show up and harass me here. Makes for good YouTube. <laughs> but I could also have a mistiming where we don't meet up. They might just trigger on my car alone at night. So apparently the cops are claiming that this house is being broken into or something. They say that the kids are sleeping in this house. It's all... Oh, there's a trail. Okay. And that's why the cop had to check my car. Which is parked just over here. There's really no easy... Oh wait. Oh yeah, there's a trail. Okay, so yeah, the cop had to check my car out because he thinks thought that maybe I abandoned my car and I might be sleeping in that house. That abandoned house looks like it's not, well, I don't know, it depends on who's sneaking in. But it's definitely not seen any repair work in a long time. I just don't get these vandal claims. I got so many of these vandal warnings around, yet I'm not seeing any any strong signs of vandalism. I've definitely seen terrible vandalism in cities without those signs.
destroyed all this vandalism and there's so many people who leave their garage doors open. Makes you wonder what really is happening. I think it's maybe an over overbearing approach by the cops. this keep both doors open these people don't seem worried about crime